Right, here I am again, back outside and working on the GPZ. Now, I've had some problems with the clutch and I, I thought there was something catastrophically wrong with it because every time I put the bike into gear it just went clunk and stalled straight away. And it, it did feel like the clutch was working but for some reason it wasn't disengaging it and um, I thought that maybe I'd put the plates in the wrong way round that is to say starting with the metal one rather than the um, the cork one and I, I mean I know I didn't think I would be so dumb as to do that and I, I thought you can't make that sort of mistake and call yourself a mechanic but I thought well you never know you know might have been distracted and looked the other way and picked up the wrong plate or something and gone ahead and put them in the wrong way around so I've had to uh, I thought it's no good I'm not making any progress buggering about with the other side um, so I'll have to bite the bullet and take the crankcase cover off take the clutch apart and check whether or not I've made the that is the problem I've made and the, and the clutch plates are round the wrong way and I'm pleased to say that the clutch plates are not round the wrong way so I'm glad I didn't make such a numpty mistake but I have found um, inside the clutch this tiny little ball bearing well there are two ball bearings in there one which is the correct three eighths of an inch which is the, the size it's supposed to be and with the clutch apart I was able to take off the end of the actu actuating arm and using my magnetic screwdriver I was able to put it down the hole and pull the bearings out and not only did I find that the three eighths of an inch ball bearing but also this little bugger here as well which might have been put in by me when I was trying to make it work the last time but um, I know now this is only about a, a three mil ball bearing but that's probably just about enough to create the symptoms that I'm having and meaning that it's not allowing the clutch to disengage properly so fingers crossed I'm keep I'm keeping this little ball bearing because you never know when you might need a little three mil ball bearing so that's going in my toolbox and now I'm uh, at the stage of putting it all back together and these bolts have to be tightened up to a specific torque which is not very tight really and um, basically I haven't I don't have a torque wrench so I just do them up and uh, I've marked them so that I'm taking out exactly the same springs that were in it and I'll just tighten them up a quarter of a turn at a time working my way around tightening every second one up and that means doing it that way I'll get a nice even pressure so I do that one then go to this one next that one then go to this one next and just do half a turn on that and the same all the way around until they start getting tight and as I say they don't need to be very tight because they've kind of got the spring holding them in place put in pressure this way but there has got to be obviously enough pressure so I, I, I do them up like this and then um, when they're 
when they're tight enough they'll start wanting to turn the whole clutch round and then I'll just missed one then I mean, the main thing is to get them all evenly tight so that you're not putting uneven pressure on the clutch and it's not going to encourage it to get warped or anything. So I'll stop this video now and the next one will be when I've finished, I'll, I'll start it again just as I'm tightening them up. In the meantime, I'm going to wind them up half a turn at a time.